So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to open the uh, Master 930. I had a lot of trouble with it when I got it, but I uh, finally figured it out. It's got uh, some security pins and it's uh, it can be tough if you haven't worked with them before, as I haven't. First thing to notice, the uh, cylinder is pretty tough to turn, so you might not even be able to do it with your tension wrench, even if you have picked it. I took this thing apart originally and just worked on the cylinder outside of the body. And you can do that by using an Allen key through the uh, shackle, and you unscrew it, and this comes out. You just got to be careful when the cylinders pull out, if you have the key in, the pins can fall out. So watch out for that. Anyhow, the uh, tension wrench I'm using is a little bit different. It's like a little bit of a kind of curved thing. I just bent it. Uh, this is an older tension wrench and I just cut off the end of it and bent it to the shape I wanted to. And I'm just putting this at the top of the keyway. Um, to keep it out of the way, the uh, first thing I learned about this lock is you got to avoid that first pin like the plague and just pretty much go all the way to the back and start working on those. It all depends on where your spool pins are and how high your, uh, what your profile looks like. You can see the profile of this key is, it's, it's higher at the end, so I'm working on the end ones first. Set this lock a whole lot every time you hit that first pin. Get a fall. I got a full set anyway. Just having a little bit more luck with it a minute ago. That looks like it. Done. The uh, Master 930 with the modified tension wrench, sort of, and a regular hook pick. Thanks for watching. I wanted to add on to the video, see if I couldn't get some footage of me opening this thing a lot faster. Once you get the hang of it, it's you can you can open it real quick. It's not too many tricks to it. That's it. I'll see you guys next time.